Hey everybody, it's Jackie. In this lecture, I am going to introduce some of the key vocabulary terms and concepts related to color. To start, it's important to identify the two major systems of color that are used by artists and designers. Color created by superimposing light rays is known as additive color, as shown on the left. The three primaries of additive color are red, green, and blue, and when you add them together, you get white. The secondaries, yellow, cyan, and magenta, are also known as process colors. Color that is experienced through reflected light rather than actual light rays is known as subtractive color, shown on the right. In this class, you will be working with subtractive color when you mix the pigments together of acrylic paint. Magenta, taupe, bone, chartreuse. There are thousands of words in the English language that describe color. When we talk about variations among colors, it's important to note that there are three distinct properties. Hue, the name of the color, such as red, green, blue, etc. Value, how light or dark a color is, and intensity, the brightness or saturation. For example, the color navy is blue in hue, dark in value, and low intensity. Since we will be dealing with subtractive color in this class, most of this lecture will focus on the terms and concepts related to color experienced as reflected light. We are looking at an example of an artist color wheel, which contains 12 colors. To change the value of a hue, you will mix white, gray, or black to the color. Adding white creates a tint of the hue. Adding gray makes a tone, and adding black will give you the shade as we see in this chart. While all of the colors on this page began with yellow, many of them begin to lean towards other colors. Some of the colors could be described as brown or even green. This is because color is contextual. The nature of color changes in relationship to the colors that surround it. Colors can also have dimension. A color, according to the color theorist David Hornung, color overtones are, quote, a secondary hue bias in a primary color. This is alizarin crimson, which is red with violet overtones. And here we are looking at cadmium red, which has orange overtones. Returning to the world of art and design, you can use color in different ways in order to achieve very different effects. On this slide, we are looking at two paintings. On the left, the colors selected by Frida Kahlo in her still life painting were used to indicate the natural appearance of the objects. The orange is orange. This is known as local color. On the other hand, colors that are imagined or invented by the artist are subjective, as we see in the vivid green faces of the people in Emile Nolde's work titled The Last Supper from 1909. The value of a painting can establish the mood of the work as well. This painting by Claude Monet is a high key painting because the artist used mostly tints of blues, pinks, and purples to create this soothing scene. On the opposite end of the spectrum, James Abbott McNeil Whistler used mostly shades and dark values in this low key painting titled Nocturne in Black and Gold, The Falling Rocket. The overall darkness of this painting makes for a moody and somber piece. How colors work together in a composition is crucial to its success. This is why designers and artists may choose to work with color harmony systems. Some of these color harmony systems include analogous colors, three colors that are adjacent on the 12 step color wheel triadic, three colors that are evenly spaced on the color wheel, complementary, two colors that are directly opposite each other on the color wheel, and finally, split complementary, when one color is combined with the two analogous colors to its complement. Here we are looking at the tertiary color red-violet combined with yellow and green. 
These are some of the systems that will help you achieve a sense of harmony in your work. However, colors can also intentionally be combined in ways that are jarring or less harmonious too. That's all for today's lecture. Thanks for watching everybody and stay tuned for more.